Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The time is 1921, New York local time. It is Sunday, July 9th, 2023. My name is Reese. I am an apprentice of Inner Circle Trader, otherwise known as Michael Huddleston. You can find my mentor's material at Inner Circle Traders, uh, at Inner Circle Trader on YouTube and on Twitter. Um, I'm a partner of top step trading. I'm trading a 150,000, sorry, 150,000 uh, step two combine. We're trying to get funded uh, today or tomorrow, hopefully. And guys, we're trading the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at the dollar index, see what it's doing. Looks like the dollar index might want to rally off this liquidity. All right, so we're on the NASDAQ, guys. Um, this recording should go about one hour to one and a half hours. Okay, so whether you see a trade or not, I don't know. But many of you want to see what actual day trading looks like. And guys, unfortunately, sometimes it looks like an immense amount of nothing. So really would not expect a whole lot of uh, action on a Sunday night, guys. Sorry. Just wouldn't. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna eat some food, so camera's gonna go off. Okay, guys, what is the red box? You've been following my work. You've been following Michael's work. You know that red box is the undelivered portion of a fair value gap, specifically a BISI, buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. That red box right there, it is not delivered to that yet. So I'd like to see if price wants to respect it, treat it as a breakaway gap to go higher, or price is going to trade through it, uh, trade back up to it, and treat it as an inverted fair value gap. Guys, some of the liquidity pools that we can have a look at. Um, right now on the NASDAQ, I would tend to think that they want this. It might take some time though. So, I'm just going to put that down there at 15,111, guys. I'm not expecting that to be hit anytime soon. Um, as you can see there on the regular trading hours on Friday, we ran. Sorry, we swept uh, two two lows. So I want to see how price if price is interested in coming down and taking down the next low. I mean, going from there, guys. I mean, we're taking a real wait and see approach here. We don't don't really know. Okay. So guys, that pattern down below, what is that? By this point, you should be familiar 
with what PD array that is. Okay, right there. Okay, specifically guys, from that candle's high, to that candle's low, what is that? It's an ICT PD array. No. I'm just gonna give you a few seconds and then we'll talk about it. As that is an ICT buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. And I've only got highlighted here the undelivered portion of that, meaning the portion that the sell side did not offer. So I'm assuming that what the market is going to do right now is come back down into this pink box uh, and then we'll go from there. I want to see how the market uh, treats that. So guys, a couple different possibilities, right? By now you should be familiar with our with our uh, fair value gap. So Hold on, my mouse is Okay guys, we know price can come trade through it, trade back up to it, trade down. It's an inverted fair value gap. Be right back, guys. Let's see if that fixes the problem. Um, guys, fair value gaps, right? Two things, that, two things that we can do when an undelivered portion is open. Well, there's a lot of different things, really. Number one, if price does not come and re-deliver that, then we could consider that a breakaway gap and we're going higher. Okay, guys? So that's option number one. All right, price can only do so many things with it. If price does not re-deliver that, buy set imbalance, sell set inefficiency, meaning it does not trade back uh, and close in it, then we can consider that a breakaway gap and we are likely to go higher. Now, other option, price comes down, re-delivers, treats it as support, goes higher. Other option, price comes down, trades through it, treats it as inverted, okay? Or price never even makes it to there and just leaves that part open, in which case we're just going higher. So, guys, that's that's really how you got to think about. Okay. So that's why it's important to wait because I don't really know at this point. Many of you are probably thinking something along the lines of, "Well, Reese, is hasn't it gone too far? Doesn't need to come back." Got to stop thinking like that. No. It, it, guys, we got liquidity down here, and price damn well might want to go grab that. Okay? We have a liquidity target down here at 111 spot 50, and price could absolutely come down uh, and come, come sweep that or go run it. So at this point, guys, I don't know. I really don't know. Waiting for clues, waiting for algorithmic signatures, guys. By the way, another level, what is it? Um, what is another level at which price could find support if it trades through that fair value gap? Right there, guys. A wick inefficiency right there. 50% of that, very good place for price to come down, trade back up. Okay? You can see it come down, trade to the wick inefficiency, find support, trade through. This Bissy, 
Okay, find support like that. A lot of different possibilities right now, guys. Um, and I can't exactly tell you just from the limited information what you know what we're looking at. So. All right, guys, I'm going to be eating. I'm going to let this recording go on for about an hour to an hour and a half. Guys, we are trading the NASDAQ. I'm a top step partner. Please use my affiliate link.
Alright guys, um, I'm with you. So you can see, I have Chex Mix, so I want you to just hear me eating. We're waiting uh, for the market to give us a signal. Um, I want to... Um, I want to address uh, a comment that I got on my YouTube. <coughs> Gotta find it though. He's a Vinny guy. He's a Vinny guy. Okay. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay. I want to address a comment. In case you are a genuine person who is learning this, not anyhow associated with ICT Network, I honestly suggest taking a step back. Reconsider the facts because the words you with no comma said here indicate you have you are too far gone before you continue with ICT look into his history fraudulent statements tweets lack of track record not a single live stream session I would put a link here to a simple but let's we'll see simple proof of his inability to trade which ultimately turned me from diehard ICT fan to complete opposite but YouTube does not allow links and comments well it does if you allow it um Buddy, I checked out that channel. You're an Algo Box guy, huh? You're a Vinny guy? Did Vinny give you 50 bucks to come and uh, troll my channel? I mean, I'll leave the comment up. I don't care. Um, don't concern troll me. I don't care what you think at all. Did I mention that I have autism? I'm autistic, meaning I don't care what you think at all. Like, literally. Like, I am on the autism spectrum, meaning your words mean nothing to me. Okay? Okay. So I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. So guys, the Vinny people are coming over to my channel now. And uh, take a look at this. Oh, it's a Vinny guy. Uh-huh. It's a Vinny guy. It's an Algo Box guy, huh? Coming over to my channel, right? Why? Like, why? Guys, y'all need to, like, focus on your own shit. Leave me alone. You're not going to convince me of anything. Vinny is a freaking hick. I'm a licensed attorney. I am smarter than Vinny. I also, we mentioned this, I am on the autism spectrum. Well, what does that mean? That means that, like, your emotional appeals, anything like that, means nothing to me. Nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. Okay? That's what that means. Like, it means nothing. So, I'm not going to delete your comment or anything, but, um, you know, shoo. Like, get Algo Box Vinny E Mini people. Go read, go, go listen to my videos on Vinny, buddy. Vinny's a freaking redneck. 
Okay. So don't don't even don't even give me this, right? Because your opinion means nothing. And then I also want to address. Uh, Uh, warum hast du einen deutschen Namen? What the fuck? What, uh, WTF? Du bist doch aus den uh, USA und redest fließend Englisch. Ja. Ah, it's LP being himself. I love LP. That's okay. He's a Canadian. All right. As let's see what we're doing. Um, we're waiting. I don't know whether we'll take a trade this session or not, guys. I really don't. I really do not. Warum hast du einen deutschen Namen? Nur so, nur so. Ja, ich muss eine Menge Fragen beantworten, leider. Alright. Ja, sehr unfortunate. Need to go ahead and remove this. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, okay, guys. Um, camera's gonna go off for a minute. Gotta eat.
I just want to say, like, none of your tactics work on me at all. Concern trolling, passive aggressiveness, outright aggressiveness, threatening, whatever, guys. I don't care what you think at all. All right? So you may as well just not. I'm here to grind, guys. I mean, that's the end of the story. I'm, I believe that I am called by the Lord to be here. I believe that he has called me to show you that you can make your own income and that I can make my own income, okay? And live the life that I want to live and that you want to live. That's what I believe he's called me to do. I believe that the Lord has called me to trade, okay? And so you can give me whatever opinion you want, but ultimately it lies with the Lord. He's the only one that matters to me and Michael Huddleston, my mentor, okay? So it's not that I'm saying that your opinions, like, don't, I'm not going to delete your comments, but your opinions mean nothing to me. So. All right. Uh, guys, we're going to let this recording go for another hour or so, or maybe another 30 minutes. You're probably not going to see me take a trade. I'm waiting to see how the market handles this buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. Okay, we do have a liquidity point down here. The market might want to come and go target that nearest low that we've made internal liquidity. Um, we're starting to build up the liquidity on both sides of the book, guys. So we're, you know, we're working. We're working here a little bit. But it's not enough for me to want to um, execute, execute a trade. So we see that sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency there, guys, right there. That was on our resettlement candle. You can see that the market has treated that thus far as resistance so it could be worth a short uh, but I don't feel like I have enough information at the moment so if the market continues to treat that SIBI with respect might be worth a short okay the high low higher high uh, we have an order block here Okay, I'll tell you what, what we'll do, guys. We're going to take one short there on a stop order. We're going to use our standard deviation projections. We're going to aim for one standard deviation. Okay, just a quick, quick trade there. Um, get a few points in. Get, get the week started off to, uh, you know, a good start. So what am I doing here, guys? If that candle right there, if the market comes and trades through the open, that is now an order block, okay? Order block theory is that the market should move down at least a half standard deviation, preferably one standard deviation from there lower. So if the market comes down and trades below the open of that candle, it's immediately an order block. So I'm taking one standard deviation below that on a stop order. Let's think if we can get in the first trade of the week. I want to start off the week uh, healthy. Um, it could also be a limit uh, short up here. So, you know, I want to see now how the market, if we get up to... So how we handle the mid, the mean threshold of that order block right there, that could be a mark a sell at the market. Okay. I'm drinking coffee with MCT oil. Camera's got to go off because I'm, <coughs> I'm eating.
Okay, guys, we are filled short. One contract. We're moving for one standard deviation move. I'll show you that. One standard deviation of that order block. If we see that green candle right there, if we trade below the open of that candle, a one standard deviation, the length of this candle lower, takes us to our buy limit. Okay? And what we're doing is we're using this as our resistance, okay? As our in, as our uh, PD array. What is that PD array? That's an inverted fair value gap or uh, inverted SIBI, okay? It's kind of like a, a new week opening gap in the sense that that was created on the resettlement after for the weekend. So. We will see how that trade plays out, guys. We're looking for a one standard deviation bread and butter move. Nothing too complicated. Um, that's what we're looking for, guys. Trying to make a living off one standard deviation. Okay. So, that's what we're aiming for. One standard deviation. We'll see if that works out. Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, in this video,
All right, guys, we got stopped out and profit on that. So, guys, our profit goal for today is $159,000. That will get us funded on this account, okay? Um, I will tell you what I was seeing there. Um, unfortunately, it did not hit our uh, profit limit, but if you're, I think I explained it. You know, it's pretty unfortunate that it ended up there, but we got short on the first order block, short again on the second order block. We were aiming for one standard deviation down, which was this liquidity down here. But uh, the market turned around just before it got there, so now we're waiting again. That's our first trade of the day, guys, and it's um, a little bit over 100 fake dollars, so uh, we just made a lot of people's daily wage uh, like nothing. It's a lot of people's daily wage right there. And on not a great trade either. So. All right, guys. Let's see what the market provides us going forward. So just again to show you the executions, guys. We got short on a sell stop on the first order block. So you can see that there. That was the first contract. We got short a second contract as it came down and formed a second order block. You can see that there. We were aiming for just below that low. Unfortunately, the market did not provide that, so we ended up taking uh, only a small winning trade. So it's okay, guys. Uh, we did make a profit on that. It was not, you know, not ideal, but a small profit is a small profit, guys. So. Um, I will just tell you the math on that, how we did there. Guys, we made 176 uh, fake dollars on that. Okay. And now we're going to wait for the market to give us a little bit more clear indication of what it would like to do. We still have that liquidity right there. Market might still go to our uh, first profit target. All right, we've got the undelivered portion of that bissy down there. We have a high, low. Yeah, it's probably going to come to our profit target anyways, guys, which is unfortunate, but I kind of wanted it to do it on that first pass. Okay, we're at the uh, wick inefficiency of that green candle. Okay. I'm going to stop this recording probably at one hour, guys. Uh, we took one set of trades. So I'm going to let this go for another 10 minutes. You guys, we're listening to Russian house music. Guys, we're drinking Black Rifle MCT oil coffee. Yeah, it would have hit our profit target, guys, which is unfortunate. But um, maybe my, you know, I'd probably trail the stop, stop down a little too aggressively, guys. That's okay. All right, we're coming down to the undelivered portion. We just redelivered the under, undelivered portion of that um, Bissy right here. And so now I want to see how the market reacts to that. 
if we see that it's quickly bouncing higher, quickly uh, does not want to close in within that red box, I'm going to assume that it's acting as support. Okay, now if we trade through and we close below, then I want to see the, how the market reacts on that wick inefficiency down there. Then I want to see uh, if we come down and take out this low. So right now I'm waiting, guys. Um, you're going to hear me say that a lot. Okay, you're going to hear me say, Muzdiom, ich warte, weiß nicht jetzt, da wo die Markt eingehen will. Weiß nicht. So, die müssen warten auf die Markt. Hello. Tell you what I'm seeing. We're trading through the undelivered portion of that BISI right there. Okay. You can see it's a BISI on the five minute. Okay. It's a BISI on the five minute. You see, we're trading through the undelivered portion of that. We're trading down. We're coming to the midpoint of that wick inefficiency. You want to see how the market reacts there. I will tell you this it would be a low, high, lower, low. So, that being said,
Margaret really wants to get overzealous, guys. We're going to try one short there, or sorry, long, based on a uh, low, high, lower low that pushes into, let's see, if it wants to get really overzealous right now, guys, this, this is where we're going long, right there, okay? And we're coming up on the end of this recording, guys. I'm going to uh, keep this one to an hour. Okay, Y'all are probably wondering, like, why is my order there? All right. We have a Bissy down there, undelivered Bissy, and then this would be low, high, and if it does low or low, that would be a, a ICT bullish breaker. So just in case it wants to get overzealous right now and, and push into liquidity, um, we're ready for that. We're ready for that.
All right. This recording has gone on for a little over an hour, um, so I'm going to start up a new one. This will be resettlement to uh, Asia, and then we'll start up a new one.